Valley High School was placed on a temporary lockdown on Friday as well as the WF Burns Middle School because up the road from us at the Family Dollar it was quite the scene as employees uh, called 911 alleging of an attempted robbery. When police arrived on the scene they took a look at the surveillance tape and realized it was in fact a two-person job. Valley Police arrested one Tori Alsabrook and one Heather Dees Swan. We caught up with Major Mike Reynolds from the Valley Police Department. Yeah, Friday morning we got a call at about 10 minutes till 9 in the morning from the uh, clerks at the Family Dollar Store located on Highway 29 just below Valley High School. The call was in reference to they were reporting that they had just been robbed by an unknown white male wearing a camouflage jacket and a black bandana who was last seen running towards Valley High School. With this preliminary information, officers flooded the area and contact was made with the high school uh, in order for them to be aware of the situation and they went on to lockdown because of what we perceived was happening. When officers got there, they locked down the store and waited for investigators to arrive. Once they arrived, they started interviewing the clerks and it soon became apparent, uh, talking with one of the clerks, that she admitted that they had uh, fabricated the story of the robbery that the night previously her and the other clerk had taken the money and split it between the two and had come up with the story of the robbery in order in order to cover their theft at this point that they were both arrested and brought to the valley police department for processing to recap one heather swan and one tori alsabrook employees of the family dollar were arrested on falsifying a police report as well as theft of property in the third. Reporting from the Valley Police Department, this is Gator Kincaid.